Hello Aquarius viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, what they might be wanting with you, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. So, you know, sometimes the cards just talk for themselves too. So let's see what, what they have to say. Let's see what the story is here. So what is the story with this situation? What is going on? When it comes to your love life. What do we need to know? Especially looking at energy over the next two weeks or so. Manipulation, deception. I think you're coming out of it though. Blocked, trapped, tied up. Reconciliation, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, dreams, visions, and telepathies. Yeah, life partner here. So that's good, actually. Could be a third party situation they're, they're coming out of. Um, mutual feelings, emotional depth, and soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. The feeling I get from this reading is that the karmic partner has been trying to keep you guys from coming back together and it's just not going to work. I think that your person is just kind of over the karmic. There might be a reason why they're staying, like could be finances or children or just some kind of obligation or guilt tripping, something like that going on. But I don't sense any strong love there. Um, I, I do feel like their heart is with you and they're just trying to figure out how to get past this energy. And it's like, here we have manipulation and deception. It's like they're trying to keep your person blinded, trapped, blocked, tied up. Um, and this red thread needs to be cut. So I think that your person needs to end. There might be a certain soul contract that they have with this karmic partner that they need to end. Or they could have just a certain soul contract of like, or you could have soul contracts too. You both could, you know, soul contracts of, of waiting or loneliness or maybe in like past lives, I think. You guys have had issues where this person is like a twin flame or at the very least a soulmate. And I feel like in your past lives, you guys have had issues where you've been separated or you've hurt them, they hurt you. And that damage has carried over to this life. And it's affected your connection for quite a few of you. Um, there's just some kind of soul contract. There's some kind of pattern that you guys keep repeating in this life that's been carried over from past lives. It's just this, this you, you, if you go, if you meditate on it, I think you'll know what the pattern is. It's just like this certain pattern that just keeps coming up that you guys just keep repeating, like going in circles on this merry-go-round. Um, like this hot or cold kind of energy. It's like this, how about that pattern be? I'm trying to see if I can, if I can channel it and get any insight on it. Um, like feeling like things just have to be hard, like things just can't be simple, like something like that. Like, I feel like you left them or they left you and, oh God, what is it? I don't even know if it's like you guys left each other purposely. I just feel like there was like always things separating you. Like there was always these like battles you guys had to fight in your past lives. And there's just like all these issues, like just this chaos around you. And it's like you guys keep repeating that pattern in this life where there's just constant like distractions and chaos around you and things trying to separate you guys. And it's like maybe like just this pattern that you have where it's like you guys feel like things have to be complicated or things have to be a struggle. I kind of feel like Viking energy almost like some of you might have been like Vikings in your past lives or you might have like because I get like a warrior spirit from one or both of you like where it's like you guys were like fighting a battle together in your past lives or there was like a war or like a rebellion that you guys were leading or just like a like having to escape from people. I don't know. That will, Does that make sense to you guys? Like you guys had to, there's just chaos. Like you guys had to always survive. That could be the soul contract too. It's just 
they're kind of be part of it. It's part of the soul contract is just always having to survive, always having to be on guard, always having this chaos. And you guys are repeating it in this lifetime and you don't need to because you're safe now. You're not, there's, it's not a war. It's not a rebellion. There's no need to survive anything horrible like that again. Um, and I think one of you died in your past life because, due to this. And I think that it's caused trauma to either you or them because of it, if that makes sense. Like what, like losing you like violently or, or you losing them violently or both. I think it's going to depend on the person, but I think that trauma has affected them. And so they're afraid that that's going to happen again. If that, I hope that makes sense. There's just this soul contract that needs to be ended. Um, So I think there's two different groups here that I'm channeling. For some, this is just your person's being manipulated by their fears from what happened in your past life. And they're trapped and they're blocked and they're blinded. See, there's a blindfold on both these people here. You know, they're like trapped and blocked by these fears, but they want this reconciliation. But then when they come through, it's like this energy of betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Like, see, she's got this dagger. Like, she feels like everything just has to be a battle. Like, everything's just such a struggle. Like, she can't just let, he or she just can't let their guard down. Um, and again, you know, dreams, visions, telepathy. It's like this stems from, from past life trauma. This stems from these subconscious patterns, too, that you guys have been repeating. This, like, merry-go-round that you guys need to get off of if you're going to be together. You need to really focus on these patterns, get to the root of the problem, really go inward. Both of you need to go inward and get to the root of the problem and end these patterns. You know, you need to end these soul contracts. There's a need to cut this red thread, whatever this red thread is. It's like you have all these cords that are toxic that need to be cut and cleared. Um, it's like, yeah, reconciliation happens, but then there's like this, this still being surviving and being on edge. And with dreams and visions and telepathy, telepathy here, um, it's like, yeah, they're, they're still, they have these memories of the past life trauma. Um, this is a potential life partner, though. This is true love. This is your person. This is someone that you've gone through these battles for in multiple lives. Um, and, you know, there are mutual feelings here. There is this emotional depth, but, you know, and, and we have past life connection here, too. But again, the soul contract needs to be ended because this, this, a lot of the fear and the trauma the fear of losing you, I think, for them stems from the soul contract. Because I think that they had to watch you die in a past life. I think that they had to watch you die in a really traumatic, violent way, and they never got past it. And maybe they made a vow to themselves because of it. Like, Or maybe there's just... There's just these cords that need to be cut. It's just a strong energy of these cords that need to be cut, of these soul contracts that need to end, of you guys needing to leave the past lives behind and realize that this is a new life. You don't have to survive or fight anymore. You can get off that. You need to get off this merry-go-round and have this new start. Um, for others, for others, this could be a, um, a third party. So there's two different stories here. So for some of you, this is actually a third party that's trying to manipulate your person and trying to trap them and block them and tie them up. But they're wanting to reconcile with you. And it's like the third party is getting, she feels jealous. She's trying to cause drama, trying to cause issues. But, you know, their dreams and visions and this telepathic communication you guys have, like they know on a soul level that you're their true love, that you're their life partner. Um... And that the bond with you is strong. Like, I think your person is psychic. I think you're both very old souls. And I think that the person you love is psychic too. And so I think that... I feel like they're aware that you're their life partner and their soulmate or their twin flame. You know, it might be like you got you show up in their dreams or they have visions about you if they meditate. Or they're, they might even be conscious of the telepathic communication you guys you guys are having right now. There's just this this awareness on a soul level that that you are their person, and the karmic can't compare to that. She he or she just can't compare to that. It's like their soul and their heart is with you. It's like you're the person that they've gone through all this crap with in all their past lives. 
you know, the karmic just does not come even close to that. She just looks so petty and so ridiculous in comparison to you. And they have mutual feelings for you and emotional depth. And they just need to end this soul contract with the, um, with the karmic partner, with, with, um, with feeling guilt. I think your person is a really empathic, very genuinely good person and a very old soul. And so they want, you both have this desire to heal other people, I think. I think your person is a healer too. They seem like a very wise, very old soul to me. And I think that they, they want to heal people too. And that's kind of the draw to the karmic is like, they don't really love the karmic, but the karmic is so damaged and so destructive and so alone that it draws them in because it's like they want to help them heal. They want to just heal everybody around them. They want to heal this person. They want to help them find themselves. Um, but they've gotten themselves trapped and blocked and tied up because of that need. So they're, they're just, it's not worth it to them. It's just, the karmic has just been playing on their empathy. It's not, it's not love. It's just the karmic guilt tripping them and your person being such a good person and wanting to do the right thing and wanting to help the karmic stop being a manipulative, manipulative person. It's like your person is very idealistic. I feel like they have such a good heart and they, they see, they try to see the best in people. And so they kind of think like, Maybe I can save him, or maybe I can save her, or maybe I can get them to stop being manipulative, maybe I can get them... It's like they see people at their core, like they see who they are on a soul level, and so it's like they have this, this belief, like maybe I can just get through to them and just help them be a better person, and then once I've helped this person, once I've helped the karmic on their path and helped them become a better person, I'm going to move on and finally be with my true love, you, you know, their life partner. Um... But I think it's just more and more, they're just more and more turned off and just, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. And so, yeah, their heart and soul is with you, even if there is a karmic connection with someone else. Um, and I hope you guys don't get too confused because, again, two different stories that I just told. There's two different stories that wanted to come through for the cards. So for group one, it's the past life trauma and, you know, having to go through all that with you like having in this war or rebellion or whatever it was could be I want to say like Irish or Scottish or something I just see people like running and just chaos and it's like you keep repeating that soul contract so you got to figure out what that soul contract is and there might be multiple soul contracts like having to survive and having to watch the person you love die or having to like this that, that feeling of loss is, is part of the soul contract, but there might be more things than just the survival. So you really, you know what your story is. So you really got to go through and figure that out and cut the cords and end these soul contracts, get off that merry-go-round and um, realize that this is a new life and that you guys actually do get to be happy in this lifetime. You know, you don't have to survive. You don't have to go through that trauma anymore. You can have your life partner, your true love here. This is a more, again, you, you both are very old souls, very empathic souls. You're both warrior spirits. You're both very strong, mentally strong people. Um, you've lived uh, so many past lives, probably thousands of years. Very, very old souls. Um, and so you just got to realize like you're safe this lifetime, you know, you really are, you're safe. It's, it's good. It's, it's okay to love. It's okay to trust. It's okay to heal. You're both such warrior spirits. that it's like, you're on edge and you're just like, you have to realize that the, the potential that's here, that the true love is here, that you don't have to keep surviving and keep battling and, and keep, um, you want to get, you guys both have to get out of survival mode basically and end these soul contracts. And it makes sense too. Like if, if you guys, if your person has this trauma from, I think your person is really afraid of you dying. I don't know if they're consciously afraid of you dying, but, or if it's like a subconscious thing, but I do sense that fear from them. Um, and it kind of makes sense with everything that's going on with the coronavirus, with all the insanity in the world, with, with the political imbalance, with global warming, with all the chaos that like maybe your person is on high alert right now. Cause it's like a past life trigger for them. It's almost like, wow, like I'm trying to let my guard down and just be safe and happy in this lifetime. But look, it's chaos again. It's war again. I have to survive again. 
And it's like they go into warrior mode where they're just like fighting, fighting, fighting. And, um, you know, again, like the current world of events might just be triggering them to go back into warrior mode. And, you know, they need to let their guard down and realize that they're safe and that they can love and they can, you know, they don't have to be so afraid of, of losing you again. Um, it's different this lifetime. It really is different for you guys. It's better. It's a much better life than what you guys have had in the past, I think. Um, and again, you know, second, so that there's that story. And then the other story would be, uh, this is a karmic situation that your person is in. And he feels guilty and he feels empathy. He or she feels guilty and empathetic for the karmic. And they, and they want to help them heal. They don't want to leave them because it's like, they just feel like, oh, this per this poor person is all alone. They're so bitter. They're so angry. They're so lost. I don't want to just leave them. Like, I'm scared because I see that little bit of good on the, in them and on a soul level. And I'm afraid that that good will never, like, I'm, like, they're just taking it upon themselves to heal the karmic. But they are going to come out of that because, you know, their dreams and visions, their guides is to let, to this, to let, to let, ah, to let, wow, okay, maybe throat chakra blocks here too. Telepathy. Jesus, I don't know what that was. Um, but they're they're they they know on a soul level that you're the the one for them. They know again, you guys are very psychic, very empathic, so they, they have this this inner knowing that you're their person and that the feelings are mutual. They just have to end whatever the soul contract is, they have to end it. You guys there's a merry go round ride here that you guys are on and you have to get off it either way. Um yeah. So that's where we're at. I'm going to pull a few more cards really quick. Just see if they have any more messages for you. <clears throat> it's a very beautiful connection, though. I mean, you guys have been through a lot together. You've been together for thousands of years. Uh, and if this is your person, you'll know if it's your story for sure. Okay. So what other messages do, <clears throat> do we have? Oh, wow. There might be some throat chakra blocks for sure. I keep stuttering and coughing. That's weird. All right. Not sure what that's about, but okay. <clears throat> mm. What else do they want to say? Mm. And I just recently made both these decks. So if you're interested, I don't have my shop up yet. I keep talking about getting it up, but I haven't gotten it up yet. But um, I, I, I do sell these decks. I just made them. So if you are interested in either of these decks that I've made and you want to purchase them, just send me an email. And you can pay through PayPal and I'll send them out to you. I also do private readings. So if you want me to look deeper into your situation, um, I have my prices below and my email address below in the description section. So let's see what we got. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> what I just said. I'm aware that you are my soulmate or my twin flame. You're the one. Like, again, your person's very, you're both warrior spirits, war, warrior spirits. Oh, my God. I cannot talk in this reading. What is wrong with me? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Throat chakra blocks. Maybe both of you need to do some throat chakra work. Uh, but they, they do have this awareness. They do. Again, they're a very old soul, so they're very psychic. And they're, they could even be aware of the telepathic communication between you two. So they know that you're their one. Like, they have no doubts about that. They have no... It's a very strong, very pure love that you guys have have together. You've been through hell and back in your past lives together. At this time, it's best for you to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. So it's just kind of saying, like, they'll come back. They just... they They're getting... They, uh, there's just these soul contracts that you guys need to end for them to come back. It's just this kind of waiting game right now. This situation involves children and obligations or childish energy. So yeah, if they have a child with the karmic, they don't want to leave the child alone with the karmic, especially if the karmic's toxic or if the karmic her, him, or her, him or herself is just childish. It's like they just feel bad. They, they want to help them do better and they're kind of just stuck in that energy right now. I'm going through a rebirth, rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. So yeah, they're having more and more psychic flashes, visions, dreams about you. Like their soul is just so aware that you're the one, that you're their true love. Like it's just, it's such a strong connection that I feel here. It's such a, 
it's just such a it's a, such an ancient connection it's like you guys have known each other for thousands of years it's very a very very old connection i've been fantasizing about you sexually hmm that's pretty good could be some sex magic going on too like if you're doing it thinking about them they're doing it and thinking about you too at the same time my life is busy and chaotic i feel numb i'm running on autopilot so again a very empathic person someone who's just trying to always put others first trying to make sure everyone's okay but they need to focus on themselves and, and cut these cords and free themselves from this toxic energy i'm damaged and i'm not sure how to open my heart again i feel like they will though they're just ugh, they're just damaged i regret letting you go i never should have left <clears throat> Yeah, so that's, it's really good. Just the energy I feel from this group, it's like, it's really good. It's just, I mean, despite the chaos and despite the fear and the anxiety and the past life trauma and the, the this third party energy that needs to be cut out, whatever this is, for some of you, despite all that, I feel such a strong relationship here. Just, just tapping into that energy it's like you guys have just you both are so strong and you're so empathic and you're such old souls and you've been together for thousands of years like you're just so ancient you're so both of you are so above the physical you're so you're both so much more evolved than the majority of people here on earth you know you're not from this realm to be honest i think most of you you know some people just aren't from this realm some some beings i don't know if that makes any sense it probably sounds kind of crazy but you know i think that only like a third of people have original human souls and there's people from like there's the fairy realm there's the angelic realm there's all kinds of different realms and sometimes beings from those realms come down to earth um so so yeah you guys aren't you guys are are much more evolved than the majority of people here on earth basically is what i'm trying to say so if this resonates go ahead and um you know subscribe i do these readings pretty regularly I usually try to do well once or twice a month and i'm starting to do soulmate and twin flame readings more often too so go ahead and subscribe and if you want a private reading or if you want to purchase either of the decks i made just go ahead and email me